Hello! I'd like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where last week I used the dreaded P word. I also said that an eyeglass lens is nothing more or less than a piece of curved plastic. And this week I want to talk just a little tiny bit more about those curves. An excellent place to start this is the Laramie K Optician Works mantra. The shorter the radius, the steeper the curve, the steeper the curve, the higher the power, the higher the power, the thicker the lens in a given material. It will never let you down. You should already have that memorized and these concepts should already be familiar to you. But let's take a brief side step. I have two lenses. I have a blue lens and a red lens. My blue lens, low power, because it has a very shallow radius of curvature. It has a radius of 330 millimeters, and this is actual. This is actually 330 millimeter radius about there. Okay, that's how I drew this. Very shallow. It only has a power of 1.61. My red has an extremely short radius of curvature, 83 millimeters. And this material, it gives me a power of six, much, much stronger. But they are of the exact same equal blank size. The cord, the, this, this Plano line that we cut out and removed as a lens, they're exactly the same. Right here, right here, right here. There are my two lenses both working from the same diameter because the steeper radius, stronger power. Again, you kind of should be familiar with that. What we're going towards here is the surface power formula where we can solve for the radius or the power when we know our index. Now, what the big takeaway from this is, is that power is related to curve, curvature is related to power. The power of an eyeglass lens comes from it's curves and material. A lens is not a pill. Let's break these two lenses out, redraw them, and work the surface power formula to solve for the radius and to solve for power. All right, we have our two lenses that we literally just popped out of the other drawing. Here's our shallow, weak little blue with the big, long radius of curvature. Here's our red, steep, powerful lens. Remember, of course, that material matters, so we're gonna be given N, our index of refraction for the material. Depending on the material, light will slow down and change direction more, so it's gonna influence overall power. 1.53, Trivex, crown glass. 1.498, CR39. So material matters here. I can use the surface power formula to solve for either the power of the lens or the radius of curvature of the curve that I required in order to create the power necessary. For instance, if I want to solve for power, I'm given N and I'm given the radius of this curve in meters, 0.33, third of a meter. And that is actually, again, Correct, um, D is equal to 1.53 minus one divided by 0 0.33. 0 0.53 divided by 0.33 is 1.61. The power of a lens with a front radius of 0.3 meters and a plano backside, pop it into the lens meter, that is what you're gonna get. Direct relationship between radius of curvature and power. If I need to work it the other way and solve for radius, n is equal to 1.498, d6, 1.498 minus 1 divided by 6, 0.498 divided by 6, tells me that the radius of curvature for this is a tiny little short, we just saw this, I just showed it to you, 0.083 meters, or in other words, 83 millimeters. 
And that is that. If you're watching me on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. Watching me on Facebook, give us a like. Please make sure that every lens, regardless of its power or curvature, comes from Laramie K. I will see you again next week. The shorter the radius, the steeper the curve, the steeper the curve. The...